Hi, and welcome back to Bloxy. Today we're taking a look at our mobile header and how it works. It is a little bit different from the desktop header, but similar enough that your existing skills are not thrown out the window. Let's get cracking. Navigate to the Customizer, Header section, and choose the Tablet Mobile View at the bottom of the screen. By default, to make it easier to work with, you are presented with the Tablet View. This has been done to give you more space in working with the mobile header builder and have everything not as cramped in on a tiny viewport. Notice the same familiar header rows and a new area, which we will talk about in detail further down the road. You will also notice that the available elements have changed a little because some of them do not make sense on a phone. Our header rows are subject to the same rules as the desktop view, so nothing new to learn here. The main difference is the introduction of the trigger element that shows the off-canvas area when tapped. For our premium customers, we have a very nice new feature that's been highly requested, a normal menu that can be placed on the mobile header rows. We'll talk about that in a bit. Well, speaking of the off-canvas area, let's check it out to see how it works. The off-canvas area is the slide-out pane that appears when the user clicks on the trigger button. It can house a lot of elements, including HTML snippets, buttons, social icons, and of course, the mobile menu. You can see that it gets its own area inside the header builder. First, let's check out the general settings of the off-canvas area. The first option lets you select the basic design of the menu. You can have it displayed as a modal, which takes up the entire viewport, or have it slide in from the left and right, presented as an overlay on top of your content. You will also be presented with content alignment options, which will let you stylize how the contents of the off-canvas area align. The design tab will let you change up the colors of this area. You can achieve some super interesting designs with this because we also offer patterns and gradients as options. Now, onto how the off-canvas area works. Because a phone's screen is vertical, all the elements are arranged vertically and they go from top to bottom. Due to the fact that all the other elements are the same as on the desktop view, we will only check out in detail the new mobile menu elements and trigger elements. For our free customers, we make available the mobile menu element that can be placed inside the off-canvas area. We have two preset design choices for this, a normal look and a bordered, separated look, giving you entries a little bit of room to breathe. Notice the interactive collapse option. By default, menu items with children assigned to them will be collapsed to have a simple yet elegant look. And they will automatically expand on selecting the parent element. Though if you want, you can turn this option completely off and have the menu always be expanded. But before we move on to the trigger element, let's talk about the Bloxy dark magic that comes with the premium package. Many of our customers have requested the ability to present a simplified menu for their mobile customers. We've listened and implemented this in a very intuitive way. Let's check it out. You notice that there are actually two menu elements that can be placed throughout the header builder. And these elements are intelligent, automatically adapting their options depending on the place they're added to. Right now, we have our mobile menu placed inside the off-canvas area and the options discussed earlier are presented. Let's move this element to a normal header row. There we go. The element's new settings are automatically presented on the sidebar and the element itself is being shown in the preview window on the right. And that looks pretty good. For the decked out view, we've chosen to go on a simpler route because phone screens are smaller compared to their desktop counterparts and not every option makes sense on these devices. As a rule of thumb, you shouldn't place too many items in this decked out menu. It has been created specifically for mobile views with a limited number of items. Good for quickly navigating through important parts of your website. We've extracted the most relevant options from the desktop view 
such as item spacing, stretching the menu so it covers the whole viewport width, and even alignment options. And again, pretty simple stuff so far. Right on, let's move to the trigger element. This element is required to be placed on one of the header rows for your user to be able to display the off canvas area. Simple but concise customization options are available here as well. You have three icons to choose from, a style for the button itself and label visibility options. Of course, the design tab is also available to let you change the colors, fonts and more. And now it's time for a special feature just for our premium customers. If you're a member of Bloxy Premium, you get the off canvas area available in the desktop view. It works exactly like the mobile version, only scaled up for the desktop. This comes in really handy if you wish to clean up the look of your website or if you wish to present your users with some useful additional options. Before closing, there's one more little note we'd like to make. As you know, our header supports the sticky positioning and transparency functionality. These features are independent from the desktop counterparts, meaning that you can enable or disable these features on a per device basis. And that's pretty much it. We hope this video has been helpful in understanding how the mobile header works with Bloxy and what features are available. We're constantly working on improving Bloxy, so we are eager to hear from you. Drop by creativethemes.com if you have any questions, an idea, or anything you may think of. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.